Welcome everyone to another episode of the Pokemon Renewal Project. Today featuring Butterfree! The Butterfly Pokemon. Real creative there, huh? This surprisingly cute bug has a special place in many a fan's heart, thanks to the heartbreaking anime episode Bye Bye Butterfree in which Ash releases his own Butterfree into the wild. Side note, we all know this is what Butterfree's real shiny should be, huh? Being the original early route bug Pokemon, Butterfree is kinda meant to be weak, and that has proven true time and time again in the competitive scene. But we're about to let it soar free. But exactly how? Are we going to renew it? As it's been a trend lately, the first thing is its access to only one regular ability. This is simply unacceptable, along with the fact that it was unfairly ignored when handing out new mega evolutions during Generation 6. So, we're going to be looking at several possibilities for the new ability. The strongest candidates are Competitive Friend Guard Frisk Rattled Simple and Unaware Competitive feels really cool. Semi-reliable special attack boosts are very useful especially in doubles, but doesn't really fit thematically, in my opinion. Friend Guard would be very nice for doubles, even Clefairy is good thanks to it, but it's completely useless for singles, which would kinda suck. But I wanna talk about it while I can. I'm going to make Friend Guard work in singles, so when a Pokemon replaces the user on the field, either by manual switching, switch moves, or being phased out, they take 25% less damage that turn, providing strong support for all kinds of Pokemon, allowing them to switch in safely. After this buffs, it feels like it would be a great supporting option. Frisk is also useful, more for doubles than singles, but it could be a thematic fit. It's not too fun, though. The same can be said about Rattled. Just a cool speed boost, but from types that won't usually try to hit it. Unaware also seems thematically correct, and would boost its defensive utility, but these options are all trumped by the other one. Despite its slightly offensive and rude name, Simple is one of the strongest abilities, while also feeling like a very good fit for Butterfree, given how whimsical and absent-minded this little bug is constantly depicted as. This would be extremely good with Quiver Dance. Doubling the already kinda ridiculous half Omni Boost, making it a threatening user of the move, even without our changes to its stats. Side note, before researching for this video, I never even knew that Butterfree received a stat buff in Generation 6 in the form of 10 extra points to its special attack. Unfortunately, Butterfree has a straight up pitiful BST of 395. Understandable for an early route bug Pokemon, but still sad. The good news is that we have 105 points to buff Butterfree. 110, actually, after a quick little stat shuffle to make its attack stat 40. This is the lowest we will ever go on any given stat when reshuffling. The first significant change we're gonna be making is to Butterfree's speed. 
where I'll be contradicting myself by giving it an unrounded number. 91 speed. This is because speed is actually the only acceptable stat for it to have non-round numbers. In order to minimize the risks of speed ties, which are a form of RNG that is the least fun in Pokemon. The rest of the new stats are 85 HP, 65 defense, 117 special defense, and 102 special attack. These changes would make it way more defensive with a way better speed tier, along with better special attack, becoming bulkier than a lot of other Pokemon, enough to no longer need to run Focus Sash, opening up the possibility of offensive items, but still physically vulnerable, and with one of the worst possible typings in the game. Running some quick offensive calcs against National Dex OU staples, after a single Quiver Dance at plus 2 special attack, special defense and speed, while holding a life orb, we find that notably it Oko's Clefable with Hurricane, though obviously not if it's unaware. It 2 hit KO's Corviknight, it outspeeds and has a chance to 2 hit KO Excadr, 2 hits Ferrothorn with either Hurricane or Bug Bus. It outspeeds and Oko's Garchomp with either as well. Oko's Gliscor with Hurricane outspeeds and absolutely demolishes Greninja, outspeeds and Oko's Kartana, even living a knockoff. Oko's Curum, I hope by now you see the massive increase in power after just one turn of setup, which is no longer even that hard thanks to the extra bulk. Now, of course, most of this is all if it manages to land those hurricanes, which, without running compound ice, might be very difficult and unreliable. On to moves now. Butterfree is pretty well off, actually, especially given the new stats. It has Bug Buzz, Pollen Puff, Psychic, Air Slash, Hurricane, Energy Ball, Giga Drain, Shadow Ball, Roost, Defog, Sleep Powder, Tailwind, Teleport, and U-Turn. Along with access to some cool niche things like Draining Kiss, Skill Swap, Electro Web, Rage Powder, and String Shot, and of course, Substitute and Quiver Dance. Most of these moves are actually pretty good for a synergy with Compound Eyes, but the standout, of course, would be Simple Quiver Dance. Moving on to buffs, I would love to buff Air Slash to 100% accuracy. I'm tired of special attack flyers being unreliable, even their weaker move can miss, it's not cool. On to additions. Moonblast feels very appropriate. I mean, look at its G-Max. Along with Bustling Gleam for spread damage. Fairy is always a great coverage expansion. I also want to give it Strength Sap. Believable for it to learn, increasing defensive utility and recovery. Give it access to sticky webs would possibly make Butterfree become a good setter. I'd also like to give it Light Screen, so it would be able to set up both screens on a supportive row. I wanna give it Wish and Aromatherapy for even more support. 
looking at bug type moves, I can't really find any freeze dry parallels for the bug type, and I can't even come up with a concept for it. So, if you can, if you have any ideas, let me know down below. I think these changes can make Butterfree a pretty decent defensive support option, along with a decent enough attacker, actually becoming a real threat with simple quiver dance. Overall, Butterfree has always had what it takes to be kinda good, only let down by its stats, which hopefully we corrected by now. I think Butterfree has always been held back on purpose. I always wished it was stronger, and now it is, even if some of them have to become a bit dumber in the process, but what do you think about these changes? Do you want another ability you think you would like over simple? Were the extra points given to a PST distributed correctly? Would this really improve Butterfree's viability in practice? And more importantly, was it all fun? Remember to subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss my changes to your favorite mon. I'm Ben Kelbo, and that's all I have for today's episode of the Pokemon Renewal Project. I'll hopefully see you next time.